Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So I want to thank everyone for liking my videos. Um, and some of my videos, like I said before, is you can't comment because the video, the comments are disabled. So, um, and some of them you can, like my newer videos that I do, like that I've been doing um this week um these couple last couple of days is you can comment um sorry guys i'm talking fast you can comment on them um and there's there's some that you can't comment so um yeah but i re i really appreciated um the the love that you guys give me um that you believe in me thank you guys like so much um i have 43 subscribers guys because of you guys because of you so thank you so 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 much i wanted to um make this video about like my mental health where i'm at um so yeah so that's the title of what my video is going to be my mental health um so um i had this like i wanted to do this video for the longest guys um but um yeah so like i said thank you again guys um like mm -hmm. i was oh, sorry guys <laughs> i was sort of sort of guys losing hope because I, I like I'm like okay if I don't get my subscribers up within like the next couple of weeks or like couple of days or months like I don't know what I'm gonna go like I made a video and I got I know you guys seen it the face of my channel like I was like I was I was going in like in 2020 like okay if I don't get s subscribers like I don't know what's gonna happen with my channel like um like I don't know if YouTube's gonna take my channel down because I don't have enough subscribers and I'm like okay I thought about it I'm like I don't I'm not forcing anybody to like subscribe to my channel like I said it's in your heart if you want to subscribe um, yes liking my videos does help my channel like grow and gets it out there and so like I was worried like going into 2020 guys like um, what is gonna be the faith of like my channel like um, and it just amazed me that you guys would just look, you know, see my videos and um, just like, oh my, you know, like it, comment, and give me this positive, you know, vibes. Like, I really appreciate it. Like, I, like I said earlier when I, in the morning, is that I wake up and the first thing I do is I go on YouTube. And I, and I go through my channel, I'm like, did I gain another subscriber? And so, like, like I said, it's, it's up to you guys if you want to subscribe. It's up to you guys if you want to click, you know, like, share, comment. It's up to you guys. Um, so, thank you guys so much. Um, so now what we're going to talk about is like mental health okay my mental health where is at um so um a quick update um i know i said this guys earlier i lost seven pounds so um if you want to know guys updates um the update on my mom She's still drinking every day. Um, 
tea drinks every day, guys. And it's just like, I kind of get frustrated because, um, like, I don't know what to do. Like, I feel kind of lost. And I feel like she never is, like, is going to want to change. Um, I s tend to stay by myself. Like, I don't let it bother me. But I know deep inside, like, it, it bothers me. Like, it, it takes a toll on me. Like, um, so, like, um, I want to be there for her. But at the same time, like, I'm at my wit's end, guys. Like, I'm at my wit's end. Like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like, um... There's so much that goes through my mind, guys. Um, there's certain things that I don't like to talk about. But I know that I'm like an open book. I, I share everything. And um, she's still drinking every day. Um, there's no telling when she will stop. Um... So, I mean, I can't make a change. She has to want it. And it gets so frustrating. Because, like, that's not how I want to see my mom, like, drink every day. And just waste her, her life away. What she's putting in her body, like, she smokes and she drinks. And that's, like, toxic to your body. Like, it's poison. Like, I don't, I mean, I'm not bashing anybody that drinks. But... Do you guys know that that is, like, toxic? That is, like, poison. You're poisoning your body, you know? Like, you could have a good time. But the long run is that um, the, you don't know the effects. Because, like, you, like, think that, okay, like, when I used to drink, guys, I don't drink anymore. But when I used to drink, like, it would make me feel good. And I didn't think about the repercussions of drinking Khalid. Like, you could um, get kidney failure. Your kidneys could stop functioning. Um, you know, you can get um, cancer, lung cancer. Um, so, oh, sorry, guys. And you can get, like, um, um, liver failure. So, I mean... Like, I'm not saying you guys should stop drinking, but in the long run, guys, if you keep drinking, your body's going to stop functioning, and then you're going to lose your life. And, like, you don't want your family to bury you at a young age. And so, that's why, like, I stopped drinking, because I value my life, and what I was putting in my body was poison. And basically, I was, you know, killing myself if I would have kept drinking. So, um, I deal with stress the best way I know how to. I haven't done my meditation yet, guys. I, I, I stopped doing that because I was more focused on, like, losing weight. And dancing and losing weight has helped minimize, like, the stress. But I, I do kind of get stressed out when my mom is drinking. Um, because I'm like, ugh, like, why, 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 you know, like, I just want one day where she doesn't, like, have to drink. Um, I would say this here, guys, is, um, being in my house, like, I haven't really, like, been happy here, guys. And, like, I don't know what to do. Um, like, I feel hopeless. Like, I just want to pack my things and leave. Um, but at the same time, like, I don't know where, like, I would go at, guys. Like, you know, like, I, I don't know. Like, you know. Um, mm -hmm. So, sorry, guys. <laughs> like, I don't know where would I go at, God, guys. Like, I don't know. Um, I haven't been happy here for a while, guys. And so, like, I don't know what to do. Um, I just keep this to myself because, like, I really don't want my family to know. 
Like, I've done everything mm -hmm. to, like, try to, like, be happy. You know, here, just try to, you know... I guess it's time for me to, like, make myself happy. And, um, like, I don't want to be, like, selfless, you know, because uh, selfish or anything like that. Because I'm not, like, I'm a selfless person. And I know you guys will comment and say, Rosa, well, you have to do what you make to make you happy. Sometimes you have to be selfish. Sometimes you have to say no. And no for me is, like, you know, wrong. But at the same time, like, sometimes, you know, and sometimes, you know, you have to... Sorry, guys. Sometimes you have to say no in order, like, to be at peace with yourself. So I think that's... I told myself that in 2020, like, I was saying no. And then start saying yes, yes, yes to me. But without, you know, feeling selfish, you know, selfish. Um, but um, I just want to, you know, give, give that I... Um, uh, this... You know, this could be a sit down video, guys. <laughs> but I wouldn't put to put in that. Um but um um yeah, so um I just take it day by day, guys, you know. I'm a strong person and I'll get through whatever that comes my way, guys. So, um yes. I don't wanna bore you guys <laughs> with my problems, so um I know you guys would say, oh, Rosa, you're not boring us. Like, we struggle too. And so, like, um, I just, you know, yeah, I just, um, you know, wanted to come. I don't want to make this video too long. I know it's pretty late, guys. Um, like I said last night, um, I'm surprised that my haul has gotten a lot of views, guys. And... The video from this morning got a lot of views. Um, I'm normally I don't drink coffee, guys. I don't know what I was thinking because now I feel like I'm wired. <laughs> but I didn't have. I just had one cup, guys. Like I'm not a coffee person. I um the last day that um I was with my dad, the last day that we were coming home to Florida. He said he wants a coffee. I said, sure, you know, why not? So, I think he made it, he, he boiled, um, water on the stove. He had, like, a, um, a, like, a coffee pot. Um, so he boiled some water and, um, then put the coffee grinds. And then he, I think he put some sugar, some cane sugar. Um, and it wasn't too sweet, um. I didn't boil water on the stove. I did it the lazy way and I um put it in the microwave um for like a minute. Excuse me guys, for a minute. And I put like two tablespoons of the coffee and like six sugars. So but I feel like I'm wired, like I feel like I'm not tired, but I have this one cup. And that's it. Like, I'm, I would tell you guys, I'm not a coffee person. I like to drink coffee cold. Like, I would drink the Starbucks um, cans that they sell in the store. I think for like a dollar or something. I would get that every now and then. But I'm not really, like, a coffee person, guys. Like, I would drink hot chocolate, even if it's hot, guys. So... Now that it's cold, guys, here, where I'm at, it's cold. Um, so I'm surprised because normally, like, yeah, in December, like, January, it in, like, February, it'll be cold. And then, like, after Greyhound Day, like, um, it'll, like, start getting, like, warming up. And then, like, March and April, it, it rains, I think, to about May. And then, like, June and July, it gets, like, so hot. So, um, <laughs> but since Florida is, like, mostly be hot year-round, we get kind of cold fronts. But it doesn't really, 
like it goes down i think guys to like the 50s or like 40s um because i stay by the lake so if you guys don't know what um lake okeechobee is i stay right around lake okeechobee so i think lake okeechobee is the second largest lake in the world I think the first one is the Mississippi River, or I could be wrong. It could be Lake Erie, um, but um, I'm not sure. So I have to look it up. So, <laughs> so yeah, I stay by the lake. So because the lake is, um, it kind of like drop like gets like down to like the 40s and then like the sun would rise and um it would get like around in the 50s so um it's pretty cold today it was pretty um i want to stay in my bed but <laughs> unfortunately um i had to um get up and do my exercise so um and plus like my niece and nephews were gonna get up anyway so yeah so and then i washed clothes today i fold them i put them right when they were done i put them up because i didn't want to be lazy and um so yeah that's what i did today Ooh. Oh, excuse me, guys. <laughs> Getting sleepy. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You heard me on. Uh, I guess that coffee is kicking in. <laughs> like I said, I'm not like a coffee person. Like, it gives me wire. <laughs> gives me wire. So, this video is like 17 minutes long wow i don't try to make my videos long guys like i just try to make them short and just simple and sweet but thank you guys so 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 much um for sticking with me because i can be like a crazy person guys so talking with you guys really helps me feel better so i re i feel better now guys that i you know, cause share this with you guys, like my deepest thoughts. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so 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 much. Um, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you so 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 much. I don't know, guys, when my um my comments will be back. Like I don't know because of the new law that YouTube has put. Um. Uh, if you have kid like small children, you can download the YouTube app for kids. Um, and what they because I had it on my phone, and they required for a parent, um, to um authorize the app. Like they will, they will. Um, when it was what asked you your age. Um, you know. Um. For age restriction, you know, so they will, um, ask you your age, um, are you, like, doing this for a parent or child, so they will ask you for your, um, age, but I, on this, I, um, I'll, I'll install the, um, YouTube children app, because I really wasn't using it, my niece and nephews, they don't use my phone, they have tablets, so, um, I understand that because I didn't want to keep it on my phone because I have so much apps on my phone, guys, that I don't have any room anymore on my phone. So, um, like, I try to, like, once a month clear out my, my apps that I'm not using, um, just uninstall them. And I install them back again, and I'm, I don't know why because it just takes up um space on my phone so like storage space so like once a month i will delete apps out of my phone and just voila <laughs> and like once a month i would delete pictures out of my phone as well and i'm like 
Uh, why did I delete it? And I'll be trying to get it back, but it just won't come back. So I'm like, okay, I'm just going to keep the pictures that I have and voila. So now this video is like 20 minutes long. So yeah. So um, um, I know in there it says if your parent, like I said, the um age. So yeah. But um, I, I couldn't tell you guys when my comments will be available i guess because of like there's kids channel on regular youtube um so um I'm, i made it where my channel is not gonna be seen from kids like um it's just um the um i love kids but i mean I don't know what their, like, um, the thought process on certain things, like, videos that they, like, watch. Um, and I really, you know, I don't want kids to, like, oh, mommy, like, you know, um, mommy, what's this she talking about? Like, this and that. Um, so really is, I don't want to confuse kids, guys. So that's why, like, I, um, before January 1st, I went on my laptop and I changed my settings to only where, like, no children, only, like, adults. Because I feel like, you know, um, with kids is, like, younger, like, 10, um, 9, or, like, 11, 12, like, they, their brain is, is they're still maturing and like i don't want to i don't want them sorry guys if this video is long um but i want to make a point like i don't want to confuse them and be like you know like of course okay you know young girls they're gonna go through puberty and they're gonna have like you know that menstrual cycle um and this and that and like like i don't want to confuse them that's what i those topics I really don't talk about because like I feel like if you're a mom you should talk talk to that with your daughter um like I would the only thing is like I'm not a mom so I really can't give mom advice like to anybody like if you're a mom you know I don't you know I do not want to give advice that I don't know the, like, a lot of information. Like, I know what some menstrual cycle is. Um, but, like, um, like, I would say this is, like, if you're looking, like, um, for, like, pads, that I would give advice about, you know. If you don't know which pads, like, um, now they have, like, the, the number, like, they go from 1 through 4, or, like, I think it's 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I think, it, like that. So, 1 being is that, like, um, small, um, or, like, the 1 represents is how the flow, like, if, excuse me, if you're bleeding heavy or you're bleeding low. So, I mean, but I mean, you know, I know most mothers, they get their menstrual cycle. So, they should know, like, what kind of, you know, feminine pants your daughter needs. So, that's why I said that I'm not a mom. So, I can't really give, like, mom advice or, you know, like, say, like, what kind of pads you can get your, your your daughter the advice that also i would give is like um make them like a a, a menstrual kit um where like you buy pads candy for them and like you know like a care package for them that's what i say you know suggesting you know but i would never give mom advice guys and because like i'm not a mom and i don't want moms to offend be offended and be like, oh, well, she doesn't know anything. Like, she doesn't have kids. So, blah, blah, blah. That's why, like, I just stay out of that, you know. Because, like, I don't want to get my feelings hurt. And that's why, like, 
I'm like I said is I'm not a mom so I don't know like you know advice like mom advice like I can't give it because like I'm not a mom and I don't want to offend any mom out there and thinking that I know it all because like I don't that's why like that's one of the many like subjects that I don't touch because like I don't like I don't personally I don't have like kids like myself and so I don't get into you know that topic or anything like vaccines like oh no I will stay out of it as well because I don't have kids and so like that is a preference of the mom and I know some moms would agree, would you know would agree with what I'm saying that that is your preference I cannot change your mind like I'm not a doctor and like I see like a lot of these posts on Facebook of like do you vaccinate your kids do you not vaccinate your kids all oh, vaccines um they're connected to autism like I don't know that's what I say out of it um like I tell mothers that's your choice you're the mom um if you feel like that you want to vac vaccinate your kids like so be it like um because you because like you want your child to be happy like if there was like i would say is do your research and i i i plot to mothers out there that do their research and you know take the time to say okay you know talk to their your pediatrician your child pediatrician and say should i you know hold off on getting my baby vaccinated or do I give them all the shots? But mothers, I said that it's up to you guys. And that's like another subject, like I said, guys, that I do not like talk about. Because I feel like I don't want to offend any mothers. Like I'm saying this now. And again, like I'm not a mom. I'm, I don't have any kids on my own. Um, but if I did, like I would definitely like i'm not against vaccines because i like i say when i become a mom like i would want my baby to be safe i would absolutely do my research i would talk to uh, my baby's pediatrician and say um do my baby need all the shots because um like when they're first born i know they get um shots in the hospital and then I think you you wait like a month. I could be wrong. You wait like a month and a half to get the other shots, or like you can space it out. That's another suggestion. What I um, a lot of mothers would do is they would talk to their pediatrician and say, "Can um can I space out my baby's you know shots? Like once they turn four months, they get the four month shots, and then." You go back again to get their six month shots, and then they don't go back again until they're like eight months or they turn a year. And then once they turn a year, they don't go back until they're like two years. So, and then they don't go back until they're three. And then, um, I think after that, they go four, five, and then six. But once they start school, they're gonna have need their physical. Um, but um i think you space it out um i could be wrong guys as well but like i said i'm not a mom but i do have niece and nephews but they're not mine um i know that um they space out their, their shots so um so i believe that they got their shots like i would say six months and then a year and then two years and then three years so um yeah well um my niece and nephew that are twins they're gonna be three in june so they're about i think time to get their shots before their birthday so i'm not sure so i don't want to complicate this you guys um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time how about you go peace out